Hmm. The R command the GUI can be used to perform a one-way analysis of variance. So we can fit this type of model to various data sets. So what we're going to do is to use one of the data sets in the base system and to do an analysis on this data set. So we go to the data menu, data in packages, read data set from an attached package. So it's the data sets, double click on that and then we get this long list of data that's available. Double click on plant growth. So we can then do our OK and we see here that the data has been loaded in. We can take a quick view of that data set. So we've got the weight measured across 10 subjects in each of three groups. So CTRL is a control group, TRT1 is treatment 1, TRT2 is treatment 2. So what we can do here is um, to take a look at some graphical displays of the data. So if we go to graphs box plot, select the variable weight, plot by groups and use the variable group, click OK. Then we can see we've got this reasonably simple box plot showing the differences between the control group and treatments 1 and treatment 2. So what we want to do is to test whether the average across these three categories is the same or not. And that's the default hypothesis in the analysis of variance that we're testing. The assumption that they are the same against the alternative that there are differences between them. And we're looking for any difference to start off with rather than a specific difference. So we go to statistics, fit models, or rather to means, one way ANOVA. And then we can choose the groups. It's already told us that group is a factor and decided that weight is a continuous variable. So what we can then do is click OK. And we'll see that it's fitted this one-way analysis of variance model using the OOV function. And we can test the effect of differences between the groups. So we see that there's some evidence of a difference between the three groups. Now our command also provides a simple summary of the mean and standard deviation of each of the groups and the number of observations in each group. So if we go back to the means one way in Alava um, dialog box and click on pairwise comparisons and means, we'll see that it does a comparison as it uh, suggests. Simultaneous um, series of confidence intervals comparing treatment one against control, treatment two against control, and treatment two against treatment one. So there's the estimate of the difference, and then the confidence intervals. So we're looking for ones that do not include zero. So it's a, the differences, as we can confirm by looking back at the box plot, are between treatments two and treatment one. So what we then could do is go to models, graphs, basic diagnostic plots, and we'll see a residual versus fitted plot, normal probability plot and a couple of other diagnostic plots of interest.